having come from the rainforest, the ants are used to this kind of weather. But unknowingly, the ants have built their nest in a drainage ditch. Flooding is a challenge for even the most intelligent swarm. The ants start an evacuation, moving the nest to higher ground. It's women and children first, as the ants carry the queen and her pupae to safety. But still, the water rises. The ants react by linking arms together, forming a mesh of interconnected bodies. Between them, they're making a life raft. The ant's most precious cargo, the eggs and remaining pupae, are safely stored on top. Flying ants also board, like helicopters on an aircraft carrier, ready to lift off to start a new colony if the rat gets into trouble. Remarkably, some of the pupae are set aside to act as flotation devices to help keep the raft afloat. You might be wondering, what on earth is this weird floating stuff that can be found during floods? This floating nightmare is made out of thousands of fire ants as a defense mechanism during the flood or rainy season. As flood water fills up their nest, fire ants start to evacuate the colony's babies, which are the larvae and pupae, to the surface, and they start forming a raft. They place the larvae at the bottom of the raft, because the larvae have tiny hairs all over their bodies, that can hold them together in a cluster, and trap air bubbles, that help everyone breathe, through tiny holes on the side of their bodies. Once the raft has been formed, they're ready to set sail, to wherever the water may take them. This ability, allows them to spread across the world, from their native habitat in South America, where they adapt along the river edge, and fire ant raft can stay afloat, for over two weeks, until they reach a safer place, making them one of the most successful species, in the world. As the water level rises further, the raft detaches from its moorings. It is now at the mercy of the wind and water. Some of the workers paddle with their front legs, giving the elements a helping hand. <laughs> 